get your computer ready for the new install disk. I actually got these from Dell. Uh, I called them and basically told them that the backup disk I created with my computer wasn't working correctly. And as a courtesy, they mailed me the original disk, which I wanted in the first place. So uh, here you go, and I'll get it started. So you need to get the disk in there, so you got to boot it up first by hitting the power button. And it doesn't have an operating system in it right now. So you're going to hit the CD-ROM, get that opened. And then I'm going to take the operating disk. put in the ROM. Now, if you hit Control alt delete okay, as the computer boots up, you're going to hit F12 for your boot options. Okay, after you boot up, you're going to have a couple options. One, you can boot from the hard drive, which is empty now, or CD-ROM drive. So we're going to choose CD-ROM drive, hit OK. Do you want to continue? Hit OK. Get it prepped for Windows 8 and then uh, show you just a really quick uh, uh, you know installation process once it boots up uh, then we're good to go okay it's going to have you to choose which language I'm going to choose English this sets up the keyboard and uh, the language of the computer hit next hit install now okay you can read through all these legal things but I'm just going to accept because I've installed this before so pretty much know what you get into and then hit next now we're going to hit custom install instead of uh, upgrade because I want to start over from scratch. Hit OK. Okay, the next step I like to do is look at drive options when you can see everything here. Um, and then I'm going to format by deleting the petition. So delete that first. And then um, delete this other one. Now you have one drive. You want to hit new. You can allocate how much uh, information you want to put if you want to have a, like a backup drive on the same drive, but I'm going to use a separate backup, so I'm going to use all the, all the uh, hard drive space just for the Windows. Hit apply, hit OK, and it's going to format the disk and get it ready for Windows 8. So now this is my primary drive. This is a system drive that it needs for backup files, and then I'm going to hit next. At this point, it's going to install Windows 8 and uh, get the computer ready for everything to go. So I'll cut this video while it does that and come right back. After it finishes install, you'll see it getting ready. And um, it'll go back to the basic tutorial of how it looks whenever you get the Dell right out of the box, but now with the, the faster drive. So, um, so you want to give your computer a name. I'm going to call mine Tech Steve Lap. And then hit next. You're going to connect to your wireless network. And then you have a couple of settings here. You can go more detail, but express and customize. Uh, you can turn on like sharing of device. You can have automatic update. I'll do mine later. Um, I don't like to have any of this stuff going to the web, like far as. Uh, help protect giving Microsoft information so they can make my computer better. Hit next to all this stuff. Error reporting, you can turn it off. Internet compatibility. You can leave on what you like, but I'm just going to kind of go through this real quick. Now I'm going to put in my email address. Hey, if you trust your computer online on all of your devices, then what it will, it will do is actually uh, link them all together. So like, for example, if you change the desktop on this computer, it'll change the desktops on all the computers that you have sharing on that, which is optional, but it's, it's pretty cool if you, uh, if you have more than one computer and you want to keep the same experience. And on this, it's just kind of walking you through how to use the mouse. Uh, like a lot of people don't know, you got to put the mouse in the corner to get search screens and, and whatnot. So this is basically, again, giving you an illustration of how that works. Now it's going to take a minute to get your computer ready, customize it, and it'll take up to a few minutes. Now it's ready to go. It should go right into the windows and pretty much that's it. Subscribe to